EB is horrific. I mean, I can't describe, there's no word in the dictionary to describe how hard EB is on you physically, but also on you mentally. Emma Fogarty is one of just 300 people in Ireland with epidermal lysis bullosa, a rare skin condition which causes it to blister and break at the slightest touch. So I get up in the morning, I get detached from my peg tube because I can't eat EBs internal as well. Um, and uh, I get detached from that, I get my medication which can range from paracetamol to ketamine and then I start into a four hour bandage change, which is excruciating. As part of EB Awareness Week, the charity Deborah commissioned a report which shows Ireland is lagging behind other countries in providing supports like fully funded nurses, psychologists and a bandage scheme, which is contributing to higher levels of depression and economic hardship among those with the condition. It's very frustrating to hear the differences between all the countries um, because we are we are in desperate need of care, of a nursing system. Some of my um, PA's hours are funded actually by Deborah Ireland because the HSE have refused. In terms of the particular dressing scheme, yeah, it, 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 the, the gap is far in terms of like they have a proper national kind of scheme, whereas it's very much ad hoc in, in the Irish kind of system because people aren't guaranteed to be it's not on the long-term illness scheme, so the, you have gaps in terms of people having medical cards and then getting access. The charity says government funding of around a million euro could make a huge difference. I've lost a leg. This year I had pneumonia and sepsis. I've gone through a lot in my years. <laughs> and, and a psychologist in the agile services is vital. I am in the care of my family, obviously, and as, as are the rest of the patients. But we are also in the care of the state. And they need to care for us, and they're not. Nicole Gernon, Virgin Media News.